I will explain about how do you run a simple servlet application inside your Tomcat server. The simple web page has been designed by using the HTML and CSS. When user provides the username and password, if we click on the submit button, the data has to be sent to the server side applications. See here where the server application, the servlet can receive this data and display it. Then what is the procedure to run a servlet application? I will tell you step by step. Then first step is that to create the directory structure inside a server. The second step, the st step is that to compile a servlet application. The third step is that to create the web.xml file. The fourth step is that to run the server. These steps are required to run a simple servlet application. Click on program files, then click on Apache Software Foundation, click on Tomcat 7.0, then click on Web Apps folder, then here the list of the project to be created, then I created the project name is here, the YouTube servlet project have been created. Inside the project, you create the subfolder is web-inf, the, all the HTML files and static resources, you keep all these files inside your project folder. Then web by fun INF to be created. Then click on it. Inside that folder, there are two subfolders to be created. Then classes folder and lib folder. Here also you keep web.xml file. It is a configuration file. I will explain you later. Then inside the classes folder, you keep all dot class files here. But here I kept source code also here, but you can put source code anywhere in your local computer, then run the source code. You keep the, all the dot class files of servlet application inside the classes folder. Then I will explain you about the servlet application. Then here, this is some simple servlet application I've been written. Here, this is the service method. Do post is a service method. Then these are the two classes, HTTP servlet request, HTTP servlet response. Because you get the request from the user by this object, send the response by this object. Then here, then content type either is a text or HTML, then get writer to write the data on the output stream. Then these two have been returns from the HTML file. The get parameter method has been used to receive the data from the HTML file here in the servlet application. Then username and password has to be written here. Then few code have been written. Then here, this is simple styles have been added. The username has been displayed. Then password also be displayed. Okay, this is called simple servlet application have been written to receive the data from the HTML file. Okay, what HTML file I written, I will show you. Here, form action equal welcome. This is a URL how to be given. Because if I click on the submit button, this page is re redirected to the first servlet. That URL name was welcome. Okay, how to remember this name for further use. Then username, type equal text, that field have been created. The password field have been created when submit the button, it has to be redacted to the welcome URL. This is called as index.html. I will explain you about the XML file. The root of the XML file is web app. Then it is consist of majorly two elements. One is a servlet element. Other one is servlet mapping. The, here in the servlet element, there are two sub elements are there servlet name and servlet class. Okay, this is the class name of your servlet. Okay, what is the servlet class name I used here? Servlet example that should be included here. Then the servlet class is mapping to the servlet name. The server does understand only the servlet name. This servlet class is mapping to the servlet name. Then after that, when it comes to the servlet mapping, the servlet name is again mapping to the welcome. Servlet name is mapping to the URL pattern welcome. This welcome should match with the 
index.html file action attribute both should be match otherwise it shows error okay this is the configuration file is required then servlet class is mapping to the servlet name the servlet name again mapping to the url pattern after that you compile the then dot class file have been generated here you keep all the dot class files inside the classes folder inside a server then after that you restart the server type localhost colon 8080 8080 is the port number of apache tomcat server enter then click on manager apps then list up the project to be shown to you my project name is youtube servlet click on it enter username and password 1234567 then click on submit button here the data has been received by servlet application the username and password those details has been shown to here okay this is the way you can run a sample servlet application inside a tamcat server if any doubt regarding this application please contact me through comment box thank you thank you all for watching my videos